welcome to our Half Lotus Pose Passive versus Active video. Traditionally, we would take our hand to our ankle and bring our foot right onto our hip crease, the opposite side's hip crease. We plant the foot down, hoping that the foot stays there for Half Lotus. To come out of half lotus, we could use our hands and bring the foot back to its original position. Now for an active version, without using any hands, you could bend your knee in towards your chest and your hip flexors and glutes would tell you how far your foot could go. And you'll notice that it doesn't move as high up your opposite thigh as in a passive version. This is totally okay. It may not look the same, but you can feel a difference in your glutes and hip flexors. Continuing to not use the hands, release your foot from half lotus pose and practice with your left leg, bending your left knee in towards your chest. And if we're doing a passive version, use your right hand to grab your left ankle. Bring your left foot as close to your right hip crease as possible. Notice how much force you are applying to make this pose happen. After you take several gentle breaths, you can use your hands to bring your left foot out of passive half lotus. And now it's time for the active version. Using the active range of motion, bring your left knee in towards your chest. Without using your hands, allow your left foot to go as only as high up as it naturally can. And notice the degree to which it, and notice the difference between the placement of your foot in a passive versus active range of motion. Take several gentle breaths and notice the sensations in your glutes and hip flexors. And there you go. Thanks for watching.